Hey, good morning. Welcome to CGS Biblecast. So glad you're here this morning. Got a question for you, as I usually do when I open these up. But you ever feel like you just don't belong? Maybe you feel inadequate. Uh, maybe you've experienced and the imposter syndrome that you, your belief is that you aren't competent as others think that you are. Um, yeah, I think most of us probably have experienced this thought that, um, you know, we wonder how we got the, the position that we that we have. I certainly have that thought myself. Uh, if I'm not thinking the opposite, it you know, it's hard to be in that, that soft spot of being in the right place and having a good, clear mind. But uh, today, as we go on to Jeremiah, uh, he definitely experienced uh, this thought of just imposter syndrome. When the God of the universe told him that he was set apart from birth and appointed to be a prophet for the nations, Jeremiah's response was, uh, I think you might have the wrong guy here. Or, um, he's, as you can see, I'm not so great with words, and, or I'm too young. He had all these excuses. But what the Lord showed him was that uh, what he desires to show us is that God has given us a job to do. He provides us with all that we need to accomplish it, and our limitations do not limit God. Let's look at the word here. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 6 through 9. The last sovereign Lord said, I do not, uh, or I said, he's saying to the Lord, I do not know how to speak. I'm too young. But the Lord said to me, do not say I am too young. You must go to everyone I send you to and, and whatever I command you to do. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you, and I will rescue you, declares the Lord. Then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, I have put my words in your mouth. Man, I wish the Lord put his word, his word in my mouth sometimes. Sometimes I get all jumbled up and I uh, can't get them out right. But uh, yeah, so the Lord touched his lips, put his words in his mouth. Is what he's, that's what he's asking for anyway. So whatever God asks you to do, don't try to constrain him with your concepts of what is and isn't possible. There's a reason God touched Jeremiah on the mouth and told him not to uh, indulge his insecurities. Words have power, and we can talk ourselves out of many great things that God has in store for us be with the when we give a voice to those doubts that are in our head. It's not it's, it's our job not to give them ground. It's our job to hold fast to the promise that God will be with us and re will rescue us. He will be our strength. He will give us words. He's, he's the one that will put wind in our sails and, and take us to what he wants to do. So remember, if he didn't think that we were up to the job, he wouldn't have given us the job in the first place. He's, he set us up for success and he wants to provide support as we go along. Uh, he is our provider and believe it, you will be amazed at what God will do in and through your life. You have to learn to speak kindly to yourself. You would never go around to other people and, and, and trash on them right to their face. You might do it behind their back, but that's a whole other topic for another podcast. But you would never just go to someone and be like, you're inadequate. You're not worth it. You're not, you're not up to the job. I don't know why you got this job. No one goes to each other's face and does that. You'd say kind things. So why don't you do those things to your, say those things to yourself? You know, Put yourself out there. You've been given a job. You've been given a calling. You've been given influence. Use that for good and don't look back. God has given it to you. And so if he's given it to you, that's all you need. Have a wonderful day. Influence somebody today for the, for the kingdom of God. And uh, don't hold yourself back. Have a good day.